back. So let's try and figure out how we actually get the navigation navigation information down here. Where, where every time I click something, it says you navigated here from item four. You navigated here from item eight. And as I jump back, you can see it jumps back to the pages and it still knows where I navigated from. This will kind of be a recap and also a good explanation about how this actually works. So again, uh, when we click this guy, we are actually sending in the parameters uh, and creating a new list page um, and we are using the item that we just clicked and passing that on to the new list page, right? That's what I just tried to explain last lesson. Maybe that makes sense now. Uh, using the nav params, we can then grab that list item and we set it inside something called the selected item, right? This guy right here. So now this second list page has something in here. But again, remember just to again, set the scene right here. When I start out, there's nothing selected. So this guy will be empty or null, right? It won't be set to anything because the first time there's nothing in the selected item, this guy will be null. Let me try and show what I mean right here by adding a console lock right here and just print out the selected item right here. Let me, let me just put in a comment right here, do a comma and there we go. So now I'm going to just, every time I click, now you'll see the selected item printed out. And as the application start in the console, you'll see when I go into the list right here, it's undefined, it's not set, right? But as soon as I click the first item, I'm passing in the item I clicked. So now it's actually the item. When I'm clicking this guy, I'm passing in the item I clicked, right? So the selected item is kind of passed into the new list that I'm creating. So first time when we create this guy, the very first time the root list will be empty. This guy will be empty. But the first time we click something, it should actually bring an, bring an item in from the outside using the nav bar parameters. Sweet. Parameters are very important when we work on with this later. It'll make a lot of sense to have parameters. And I think the Yonic framework is, they build it very simple to use parameters compared to some of the other frameworks that I've worked with. So now we have the parameter available and we've set this guy to something. But how do we know that actually clicking this guy, there's nothing here right now. And when I click this guy, it should show something. Why is it not showing no item found down here right now? Well, that's because of another thing you can use in Yonic and Angular called the NGF. Now going back to our HTML page here, you'll see there's a div right here that says NGF, there is a selected item, then show this. More? So if there is a selected item, show you navigated here from selected item title. Let's just try and change this a bit, just for the fun of it. Let's say NGF, there's not a selected item. So we're using the not sign right here, not, if there's not a selected item, I want to show something else. Let's just say then I want to say uh, root page like this. So now we're at the root page, right? Let's just try and have a look at what happens now. Jumping back into my list and notice root page. So that's kind of what the NGF does. It can You can kind of validate if something is there or is not there. So I'm saying if there's not a selected item, show the root page. If there is a selected item, and navigate, show the navigated here from and whatever title you navigated from, right? So this is kind of powerful. This is a way for you to kind of decide if you want to show a tag, like the div right here, do you want to show that div? Yes, I want to if there's not an item selected. Do you want to show this div? Yes, I want to if there is a selected item, right? So this is a very easy way for us to decide if you want to show or hide stuff by using the ng if. So now you know how the selected item is actually being shown on each page. Let's actually start doing some real stuff because now you've heard so much new stuff. Now I just want to try and use it to try and see if we can actually do some Chuck Norris jokes. See you next time.